Okay, so just to recap, a unit circle oops, has the center at the origin. I forgot to mention that, but it's at the origin. And then the radius is equal to 1. That's what a unit circle is, okay? As we sweep around, we are calling the angle that's swept T, okay? So T is the angle in my drawing. S is the arc length. And the radius is 1. Okay, so we also have the relationship that there is some function cosine so cosine of t and that equals x there's also a function sine sine of t equals y so what it means is this ordered pair that we have up here right there can be written as cosine of t comma sine of t okay that would be the same point because x is a cosine of t and y is a sine of t um, by the way we always say sine we don't say sin we always say cosine we don't say cos um, so the parentheses you just need to know what you're taking the sign of okay so sometimes they're going to write them and sometimes they don't you'll see that in the notation um, so that's a big relationship right here you want to remember what the unit circle is and remember this part of it, okay? That the cosine of t is equal to x and the sine of t is equal to y, where t is some angle that's being swept out by the radius, you know, if it's an angle like in standard position. Okay, um, one more thing about notation. Sometimes we have to take a cosine and square it. So you might say the cosine of t, and you want to square that value. Well, okay, so there's a couple ways to write it. That's one way I wrote it. Um, they also could write it like this with extra parentheses. But there's a shorthand notation. And so you would say in both those cases, before I show you the shorthand, um, it's cosine of t squared, okay, or cosine squared. Um, the shorthand notation has you write it cosine, and you put the square here, and then the t, okay? Um, they mean the same thing. We're going to use this notation, and just understand that it means the same thing as this up here, okay? Um... If you want to look at that more, it's in the textbook as well. Okay, sometimes those are a little hard to type, but um, just understand that that means you're taking the cosine and you're squaring it. It looks a little, little different. Same thing with sine. You can, you know, do sine squared. Sine squared of t. But it means you're going to take the sine of t and then square it. 